Hello everyone. We need to talk about one of the most foul things I've seen on the internet. I saw a terrible video earlier and I'm gonna show you guys all uh, it. Okay, that's what I do. I'm gonna show you guys something that I really, something that I wish I wouldn't have seen that you guys are going to, and girl, are going to wish that you had not ever, ever seen. There are so many things that you shouldn't do on a plane. Smoke, fart, take up multiple armrests, lick the toilet seat, sing it, people that you're locked in there with. You shouldn't sing. You shouldn't wear a, a Burger King crown in a plane either. Please. Also, back to the singing thing. Why do people like singing on planes? What the f***? I don't understand. It's like a captive audience. Maybe it's like a weird fetish thing. I don't know. One of the biggest things you shouldn't do that I didn't know anyone did is prepare food in flight in a lavatory. In the bathroom. This is a memo that was clearly missed by a TikToker known as Barfly7777. In one of the most foul videos I think I've ever seen on the on the on the on the on the clear net. Okay, guys, seen a lot of up shit on Twitter, especially now. Twitter's getting a little crazy. Or X. This is disgusting. This man, Barfly, cooks garlic and shrimp mash in an airplane. Great value roasted garlic. Great value shrimps. Oh, it's so disgusting. He even acknowledges on his way to the airport in the car that this is a terrible idea. Well, I got a terrible idea. Although generally we've learned self-awareness does not lead to changing your way of thinking or any sort of uh, improvement as a person. It seems as though self-awareness serves no purpose at all. He films going through TSA and going to his flight. He then films being on the plane and shows the people nearby him before heading into his laboratory. <laughs> Oh my God, he manifests his best Walter White and fills the in lavatory sink with water, rigs up a couple of batteries, which I don't even know how he got those on an airplane. He rigs those up to an immersion beverage heater and then heats up the water for his delicious cooking. He sous vide it. He's got his gourmet meal packs on the diaper change table. It's a good sanitary workstation, what he's familiar with. He tosses the shrimp into the sink and I don't know, <laughs> so disgusting. <sighs> Oh my god, he takes the shrimp out of the sink. It was supposedly when they're properly cooked, it's pink. I, this is, I don't know why this freaks me out so much. I, there's nothing proper about this. Oh my god. Oh, he dumps the mashed potato powder into the sink, starts mixing it in by hand, and then it, the, the shrimp water. <laughs> so it grows. He then takes his fine dining sustenance and throws it into a vomit bag, which is kindly provided by the airline in the event of an in-flight sickness or an in-flight chef. Can ratatouille on this. Oh, it's so nasty. He goes back to his seat, starts eating his gruel. Imagine seeing this guy eat this out of a vomit bag. It looks like vomit. It looks like he's eating vomit out of a vomit bag. I, I, I can't, can't. What the f so this whole thing is one gigantic red flag, but but there's a couple things of note here. Uh, how did he get past TSA with batteries, uh, uh, cooking equipment? I mean, this is like, he, he made a gourmet meal. He could easily have made a bomb, I feel like, right? That isn't far off. He made a f***ing stink bomb with his asshole, I'm sure. Oh, he uses garlic butter for the shrimp. That's another red, red flag. Is that, how does someone smell? The, the, how did no one notice the garlic butter? I mean, the smell. <laughs> also, how did this guy make it to his age being so f***ing dirt nasty? Oh my god. Why is he not permanently banned from flying? Or why is he not arrested for rigging up batteries to a heating device? Like some kind of f***ing Dr. Parkenstein mad scientist. What is going on here? Just so you know, TSA let this man on a public flight with shrimp, powdered mashed potatoes, garlic butter, uh, batteries, wires, and heating devices. But no, they don't let you on if you have too much shampoo in your toiletries. Or if you have a gun. That would make sense though. The comments are incredible on this video too. The no fly list coming in hot. Imagine being the person next to use the bathroom in the sink is crazy. I could not believe this when I saw this this morning. I was like, this is, this is some of the craziest content I think that has ever existed on the internet. This dude's a legend too. You've probably seen him. I've shown him in a few of my reaction videos on my reaction channel that I have where I make fun of people like this. And he just cooks shit in hotel bathrooms. That's what he does. He does it in sinks. He's an expert. I do want to know though, before we move on, did he clean the f 
fucking sink? Did he actually, is there just garlic and shrimp and potato in the sink for the next person to deal with? Because that's awesome if so. I like that. I'm pro Barfly. Potentially the most shocking part of all this is when you look at Barfly's channel, it, it's, it's you, him preparing a meal in a bathroom sink on an airplane is not his most viral video somehow. Not even by a long shot. To be fair, that video is new, but it doesn't even have a million views yet. He's got others with millions upon millions of views. What else could there possibly be? She's baking French onion soup in a f***ing hotel with oh, jumper cables. French onion soup in my hotel sink. Mmm, delicious soup. Oh, wow, that looks so delicious and soupy. See, that's a sous vide thing right there. It's sous vide. Sous vide, I don't know. It looks nightmarish is what it looks like. It looks like witch's brew. He seasons it, puts in the bouillon, and then puts in beef curtains or whatever this is. I don't even know what this is, man. Oh, he's got a ladle fashioned out of Mike's hard lemonade can. This guy's such a legend. Look at the beef curtain strung over it. That's awesome. By the way, what does he do with the excess onion? The, 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 the discards. He flushes them down the toilet. He puts the ready parts in his makeshift cauldron in the sink and then just discards the rest in the toilet. I'm sure the hotel loves that. Look at this beautiful chef workspace. This guy's a genius. He's got alpha brain too. Joe Rogan's biggest fan. Oh, wow. That is so disgusting. Oh my God. Is this worse? I feel like the shrimp and taters and the airplanes gotta be worse this i would eat this this looks kind of good but it's also just why is it it's repulsing when it's in a sink mm. and finally he gets to taste his creation uh and eats it out of what looks like a dog food bowl i'm not exactly sure but it is appropriate for the nature of the meal this video has 400,000 fucking likes by the way guy's a legend comments are equally as epic i've literally came in a hotel sink Bruh. in another video he makes baby back ribs guys guess where he does that at a bathroom that's right a bathroom a bathroom he puts it in the kitchen sink and he cooks it using a hair dryer and pillowcase or an oven as he calls it he gets side dishes too corn potatoes then he gobbles it down and then i assume gets on the toilet and shits it all out immediately or throws it up because it's absolutely disgusting Then he makes beef jerky in his bathroom. Oh, God! The worst thing he did is pillowcases. He, he's ruined so many fucking pillowcases. They look like murder scenes. One of my favorite parts of the whole thing is that in his bio, he just says, no hotel has been harmed or is in risk of being harmed. This is creative filming. Oh yeah? Is that right, dude? <laughs> How's that no fly list treating you, goober? Also, I just want to make it clear that his merch shop is epic because he uses fourth wall and that is my favorite merch shop. Fourth wall is the by far absolute best of all of the best and options for fourth wall if you guys want to start your own merch shop. A little funny extra tidbit is he also uh, appeared on Jerry Springer. It looks like he's just an audience member who stands up to call everyone on stage a clown and then he gets fat shamed by a lady on stage. I don't really know exactly what's going on. This guy's a smooth operator. I know that is for sure. Yeah, this has got to be one of the, my favorite things I've seen in a long time. It's disgusting and, and revolting, but also very, very, very cool. Anyways.